everybody, John back with uh, Billing Seafood Guys at home of the Wild Alaskan Seafood Box. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. This is part three of my journey on how we got here to the Wild Alaskan Seafood Box and Billing Seafood Guys. So you guys have seen part one and part two where basically I've talked about how I started as a commercial fisherman and then transitioned over to the processing side and kind of my experiences up in Alaska running seafood plants. So gosh, after it was about seven years of running, uh, of working up in the Alaska seafood industry and eventually running seafood plants, I actually transitioned to where I uh, started building seafood guys. So it, it really came about to where um, I, I kind of caught that, that entrepreneur bug. Um, I mean, it's, it's kind of always been there. I didn't really know, um, you know, how to put everything together, but I'd actually been working on this idea of really a program to where we worked with Alaskan fishermen and were able to find a way to get wild Alaskan wild caught seafood direct to the consumer. Um, where it was really authentic seafood, and we were able to really, you know, kind of tell that story and really help educate people, um, and really to see it through the lens of fishermen. So that that idea had really started, you know, when I was 22, 23, uh, working at these seafood plants up in Alaska, and I was writing notes in a notebook on this business um, when I was 22, 23 years old. Um, I dabbled in all sorts of little hobby businesses, online things, while I was working for seafood companies. But um, it got to that point to where I was up in Alaska, you know, seven, eight months out of the year, and only down here, because um, I, was, I was actually living in Montana. Um, so I was really only home for, you know, four, maybe five months out of the year. And uh, I just had my son, uh, you know, a couple years before that. So it was time to make the change. So totally just made the plunge. Did not have everything together. And uh, it was in January of uh, 2018 to where I, uh, I left my, uh, my previous job uh, working for a seafood company uh, up in Alaska and started building seafood guys. Um, you know, I filed for building seafood guys, got everything official in January of 2018 and then uh, really just slowly got things going. Um, it all started by really just building a Facebook page and utilizing word of mouth. And I was delivering seafood in a cooler in the back of my truck to people's homes as I got random orders on Facebook. And then um, kind of took it to another level where we bought uh, cargo trailers and outfitted them with chest freezers. And that way we were able to travel all around the state, do events, local events, farmers markets, and just pop up events all around the state of Montana. And that's how we really got the word out. So we, we were actually doing that for two years. Um, I was on the road truly for about a year and a half straight, um, going to four or five different towns every week. And that really helped us just get the word out. And eventually, you know, we got the subscription model going. We got Wild Alaskan Seafood Box going just recently. So uh, it's it's been only two years, and that's kind of uh, how we really scratched this thing together. But it's now it's really getting exciting. We're finally to that point to where uh, you know we've we've got a business. We've actually got something that that makes sense. We're able to work with fishermen up in Alaska now and other suppliers of wild caught seafood. So uh, our goal is to just continue on that. Um, we're working with guys out of Petersburg right now to get you know you guys fish directly from fishermen. Um, so you know exactly what boat that came from. And so we're slowly getting there. We're creating new partnerships with these guys now that we actually have a decent amount of seafood that we need to get out uh, to the nation. So we're super excited for this. We're super excited for you guys. Thank you guys for allowing us to do this and for helping support Wild Alaska Fishermen. And we can't wait to see you in the next email, your next box. We just appreciate everything. Thank you guys. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching part three of my journey. We appreciate you guys so much. And uh, 
We hope you're gonna tune in to our next email because we've actually got someone really cool who's doing a quick video for you guys. His name's Austin. If you guys are into the MMA world, he is a pretty top of the line fighter in Bellator. And uh, he's also got some other crazy connections. But he, uh, he's from Alaska. He grew up in Alaska. And uh, we actually have some similar connections um, through, uh, through high school sports up there. So it's, uh, it's a small world. But he is gonna be coming in on the next email telling you guys why he chooses wild Alaskan seafood, wild caught seafood, and how it fits into his daily lifestyle, his nutrition, his training. So you're not gonna to wanna to miss this one, guys. Especially if you're into MMA, uh, you guys are gonna like this. See you in the next email.